Sky. Very tempted at Pokemon Nozlocke in the Gala region. The only Nozlocke rules. 1. Cast the first Pokemon you counter pull out. If the counter Pokemon fainted, you can't cast any Pokemon from that route. 2. If you do cast a Pokemon, you have to nickname it. 3. If your Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can't use it anymore. And for the bonus rules, there will be a duplicate clause, and you cannot use any legendary Pokemon. If all my Pokemon dies, then it's game over, and I lost the Nuzlocke. And for being this Nuzlocke, I have to beat the champion of Galar. And the Nuzlocke will begin. Ready? Set? Go! While watching something, my rival Hob wanted us to see his brother Leon. Well, this ruler doesn't want to see Leon. While visiting Leon, we find out that he's a champion of Galar. Afterwards, champion Leon decided to give us starter Pokemon. And the starter Pokemon are Grookey, Go Bunny, and Sobo. I picked Sobo, which I named Randall. Hop picked Go Bunny. And Leon chose Grookey. Then my rival Hop decided to have a Pokemon battle, which I beat easily. Looks like that ruler really hates your brother, huh? Afterwards, when we went inside the slumbering world, we eventually found the ruler. When I finally got Pokeballs, I went to Route 1 and found a Blip Bug. I caught the Blip Bug and named it Francis. I went to the professor's lab and met a character named Sonya, which gave me a Pokédex. I went to Route 2, which I encountered a Sea Dot. I caught the Sea Dot and named it Groot. We then met the professor named Professor Magnolia, and my rival wants another Pokémon battle. And I beat him again with no issues. After being Hop, Professor Magnolia gave me a Dynamax Band. And then we went to the wild area. Since there are sub areas in the wild area, I am counting each sub area as a new encounter. I went to the rolling fields and I encountered a Joltek. I caught it and named it Rosie. I went to the Dapple Grove and I encountered a Bodoo. I caught it and named it Clara. I went to the Watch Tower Ruins and I encountered a Dust Goal. I caught it and named it Slimer. I went to East Lake Edgewell and I encountered a Wingle, which I caught and named it Webby. Then I went to South Lake Milos and I encountered a Bowtoy, which I caught and named it Gumby. Afterwards, Francis evolved. When I got to Giant Seeds, I encountered a Daily Bird. I didn't realize how strong Daily Bird was until it killed Slimer the Duskull, which I ran away. I 
then went to North Lake Milo's and I encountered a pedo. Which I called a name Zazu. Looks like Wendo is evolving. After battling some members of Team Yell, I came across a character named Marnie. Then Hobbs wants another Pokemon battle. Which I beat him again with no issues. I went to Route 3 and I encountered a Rookie Which I called and named it Boghorn. And it looks like Groot is evolving to a Nuzleaf. We then went to the Gala Mine and encountered a Rolly Coley. Which I called and named it Rocky. I was challenged to a Pokemon battle to a character named Bede, which I beat with no deaths. After being Bede, I went to round 4 and encountered a Galarian Mouth, which I caught and named it Felix. While exploring the city of Turfield, I found a Leaf Stone. Which I used to evolve Groot into a Sif tree. I went back to the wild area because I realized I forgot about the Westlake Axwell area, which I encountered a Whipper, which I called and named it Anne. Now it's time to battle the first gym leader, Milo. Send out his gossip rule while I send out Zazu the Pidu. Which I beat with El Carter. Then I sent out Francis. And he sent out Eldegoss. Which I beat by using Struggle Bug. and gave me the grass pad. Oh, Rocky is evolving. I then went to round 5 and encounter an Esper, which I called and named it Penelope. Then I have to fight Hop again. And then I beat him again. Now it's time to fight on the second gym leader, Nessa. And I easily beat Nessa with using only Groot. Then I got the water badge. After the second gym, I went to the second Gullah Mine and encountered a Wimp Pod. Which I called and named it Blower. Then I encountered Beatty again, which he wants to fight the second time. Which I then beat with no issues. I then went to Watersook Outskirts and encountered Rockin' Waller. Which I called and named it Adam. And then Wilbur evolved. Then I would jump into a Pokemon battle against Marty. During the battle, YB the Ringo has been killed by Krogong. Tommy has been killed off by Scraggy. 
and Adam has been killed off by Malpanko. And with those sacrifices, I beat Bonnie. While I was in the third gym, I encountered a Litwick. And during the battle, I had to sacrifice Clara to save no Pokemon life. I eventually did catch the Litwick and name it Lemire. And now it's time to battle the third gym leader, Kabu. And I beat all three Kabu's Pokemon by using only Randall. After the battle, Zazu the Pidoof evolved. And I was received the Fire Badge. Then I went to the Mordesuk River Bank in the wild area and I encountered a Benelite. Which I called and named it Frost. Then I went to the bridge field and I encountered a Noibat. I caught the Noibat and named it Rouge. I then went to the stony wilderness and encountered a Gurdor. Then it killed Anne, so to save the other Pokemon, I had to beat the Gurdor. Looks like Rando is evolving again. And Polkorn is evolving as well. I then went to the Giant's Mirror and encountered a Coffin. Which I called a Nevis Siki. I then went to the giant's cap and encountered a donkey. Which I caught a navy Phoebe. I then went to well 6 and encountered a silly cobra. Which I accidentally killed. And then I the bio hop again. And I beat him again. And also, Penelope is evolving. And now it's time to battle the Gym Leader Bear. And this hit my top decided to use revenge once starting killing Zazu. Then I have to use Falcorn. And I was able to one shot every Pokemon she brings out because of Horn Claws, which raises the user's Pokemon attack. And because of that gym battle, it made Falcon evolve again. And then I got the fighting badge. Then I had to battle BD again for destroying a monument. Which I beat with no issues. And German Rose was so disappointed from a battle that he kicked BD out of the gym challenge. What? While going through the Glenwood Tangle, I encountered a Mogram. We 
as I can't and name it Terrence. And then Phoebe evolved. Now it's time to battle another gym leader named Opo. And I managed to defeat all Opo's Pokemon with only using Fifi. And Floa evolved. And then I got the fairy badge. And then I had to battle Hop again, guys know how many times. Which then killed Penelope. Felix. And Siki. And with that, I did the hop once again. I then went to Route 7 and encountered a Toxel. Which I caught and named it Azula. I then went to Route 8 and encountered a Rhyhorn. Which I accidentally killed, and the Mew died as well while battling a trainer. Now it's time to battle another gym leader, Goldie. Which Beaky died from the battle. And I was able to beat every Pokemon he pulled out by using Snipe Shot. Then I got the walk badge. Well, how many times I have to battle you? For this battle, it killed Rosie, Laura, and Terrence. He had to all that by Behem. It looks like Azula is evolving. I then went to Route 9 and encountered a Tinkler. Which I failed to cast because of the hill. And then Rocky evolved. And then Francis evolved again. And then Frost evolved. And then I have to buy up money again. Which I beat with no issues. And now it's time to buy another gym leader named Pierce. Which I beat all of his Pokemon with no issues. Then I got the dog badge. And before battling the final gym, Frost died. And now it's time to battle the final gym leader, Wyhan. And now 
was able to beat every Pokemon that my hunt put out. And then Francis died from Max Rock Ball. Which Rana want revenge for killing the first ever Pokemon we ever caught. beat my hunt and got the dragon badge. I then went to the city of Winden after going to Route 10, which I didn't catch anything. And now I go to the Champion Cup. Now it's time to battle Marty for the final time. Which I be with only using Randall. Now it's time to battle Hop for the final time, hopefully. Which I be with only using Randall. Afterwards, we were trying to find Jeppy and Leon, and now we have to battle Olina. We should beat with no issues. Also, Wills is evolving. And then Jeppy and Leon. And Jeremy Roseman will talk about something which I don't care about. Now it's time to battle B Day, which now became a gym leader. Which I beat all of his Pokemon by using only Wendell. Can I beat B Day? And the next opponent is Nessa, which I beat all the Pokemon with only using Randall. Can I beat Nessa? And the next opponent is Bea. And again, I use Randall to beat 
all of our Pokemon. And I beat Bea. And the final opponent before battling champion is Raihan. Which, as you can guess, I beat by using only Randall. And for some reason, he used Wayne Dance. Thanks for the help, I guess. And I beat Raihan. And now it's time to battle Champion Leon. And then Jeremy will decide to bring back the darkest day. Now it's time to battle German Woes. Can I be him by using Wendell the Italian? And I beat German Rose with no issues. And now it's time to deal with Eternatus.
This is fine. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Shit. Oh shit, it's Master Hand. As of right now, the last surviving Pokemon in the Nuzlocke is Randall the Inteleon. Root the Sift Tree. 
Falcon the Covenite, Rocky the Colossal, Azula the Toxtricity, and Rouge the Neuburn. And now, this is actually the time to battle the champion of Gala, Leon. He set down his Ancient Slash, and I set down Rocky. He decided to use King Shield, and by that advantage, I used Stealth Walk. He then decided to use Sacred Sword, and I used Flame Charge. And decided to use flame charge again, and then he decided to use sacred sword again, almost killing Rocky. And because of flame charge, Rocky became faster than Angry Flash and ended up killing him. I decided to switch out Rocky to Rouge, and Leon sent out Hexalus. Rouge used Dragon Pose and killed the Hexalus. Then switch out Rouge to Groot while Leon sent out Rapiria. Groot uses Leap Blade, which didn't kill the Rapiria. The Rapiria decided to use Heat Crash, killing Groot. I then sent out Randall and finished Rapirio off. I switched out Randall to Rouge while Leon sent out Dragapult. I used Dragon Breath, which cut off my health, and I used Dragon Pulse, which almost killed him. I decided to switch out Rouge to Foghorn, because I'm afraid that he might kill Rouge. And decided to use the full restore on Rouge. He then decided to use Flamethrower, which killed Falkhorn. And then I decided to send down Rouge again. I decided to use Dragon Breath, which almost took half my health, and then I decided to use Dragon Pulse, killing the Dragon Bolt. I 
and decided to switch out Wu's to Azula, and Neon sent out a Willaboom. Neon decided to use high horsepower, killing Azula. Then I decided to set out Rocky. I then decided to use a full restore on Rouge, while Leon used Endivore, which doesn't affect Rocky. He then used high horsepower, killing Rocky. And I decided to send out Rouge. I then decided to use Air Sash, almost killing the Willaboom. And then he decided to use Drum Being, which doesn't affect Rouge as much. He then decided to use Endivore, almost killing Rouge. And I used Air Slash, killing the Willaboom. I then decided to switch out Woos to Randall, and Leon sent out his final Pokemon, Charizard. I think to Stealth Walk, it almost cut out Charizard's health by half. I then decided to Dynamax Randall and Leon decided to Gigantamax his Charizard. And for the finale, I used Max Geyser, killing the Gigantamax Charizard. And I beat Champion Leon, becoming the champion. And that is it. I beat the Pokemon Nuzlocke in the Galar region.